hello viewers welcome to my channel today i'm going to show you how to calculate topographic witness index topographic witness index also known as a compound topographic index it is the indicator that measures the potential on where water tend to accumulate its range vary from minus 3 to 30 here the high index range that means 30 indicate the high potential of water accumulated due to low slope and the low index value that is indicate the high low potential of water accumulated due to high slope Topogra topographic witness index can be uh, helps in decision making in this area especially identifying the area where um, affected by ponding and flooding uh, flooding caused by heavy rainfall it can also provide planners a visual mechanism for site selection of green infrastructure project. It helps in identification of area with an increased susceptibility to ponding due to soil overflow. This is the calculation method. First open ArcGIS. Now add the data especially the dam data. If you do not collect, uh, connect the folder then you can connect your folder from by clicking on this option then go to this PC and go to the folder where you save your data click on ok this is how you can connect your folder now click on the data the dem data that you want to add after that set your environment where you want to save your result in this case i am going to save my result in this raw data on, on this result folder so i am click on add and click on ok after that the first step is the project team this dam is in geographic coordinate system that is world um, global coordinate system geographic coordinate system it is in degree decimal unit so at first you have to project the dam in your local coordinate system in, uh, actually project the dam in uh, UTM first you have to search project raster then click on ok then input raster input raster select the dam and output coordinate system input coordinate system is flow uh, geographic coordinate system and output raster give give the name of output raster output coordinate system with the projected coordinate system that is UTM WGS 19.4 click on ok So this is the projected dam. You can now see the cell size that is 31 meter resolution and it is in meter, meter unit and the previous dam was cell size is, cell size was in degree decimal unit. cell size was in degree decimal unit 
now now the second step of calculating topographic witness index is to fill the dam you have to fill the dam click on search bar if you do not find the search bar then click on the, uh, this tab and here type select the projected dam as input surface raster and name the output surface raster as click on ok next step is to calculate the flow direction flow direction of the team so type here flow direction select the field team as input surface raster and name the output flow direction raster as click on ok now flow direction map is uh, created the next step is to calculate flow accumulation then so again type in the search bar flow accumulation select the flow direction raster N name the output raster as flow accumulation FLW flow accumulation click on ok So then the next step is to calculate the slope of the dam. To do this you have to uh, type in the search bar slope. Then you have to then you have to input the field name you have to input the field name and output click on the output raster name the output raster as slope slope in degree because in this case the slope will be calculated in degree click on ok this is the slope in degree now the next step is you have to convert the slope in degree to slope in radians so you have to multiply the slope in degree result with this number this is actually uh, uh, the simplified number the actual equation is the slope into pi whole divided by 180 but in this case the term pi divided by 
180 was simplified by dividing the number 2. In this way, you can convert the degree to radians. So go to raster calculator. Select slope in degree. Type this number. Name the output raster as slope in radian. The next step is the calculation of ten slope because topographic witness index is is calculated using this formula long flow accumulation scale divided by ten slope. So we, now we will calculate ten slope. This is the formula of calculating ten slope condition slope greater than 0 10 slope comma point zero zero one. things that you have to consider is that is the slope if the slope is 0 then 10 of 0 will be 0 and then uh, so you will end up with undefined pixel so for a pixel value of 0 you have to substitute smaller value this actually you have to remove this zero value you have to remove zero value from this them in order to re remove zero value you have to assign zero value with smaller value that is close to zero that is 0 0.001 or you can also assign zero value as 0 0.00565 which is the 10 of of a flat land close to zero slope so you can select any any of this value type this equation select on condition then slope slope in radians greater than Ten slope. Go to ten. Ten slope in radians. Comma. The value that you have to assign as a replacement of zero value. You can assign this value or you can also use this value. I am here going to use this fellow name the output raster file as 10 slope click on save click on ok So, 10 slope is created. Now, you have to scale the flow accumulation. Because um, uh, in, this, uh, in this case, you have to add 1. Since the border pixel have 0 value, here the border pixel that uh, contain 0 value, you have to remove, uh, you, you do not have. You you have to remove this uh, zero value. 
if you do not add one value the watershed divide which has no flow accumulation will have a zero value and lawn zero will be undefined so you have to scale the flow accumulation and so you, you, you have to add one in this way you can scale the flow accumulation so I am going to scale the flow accumulation click on raster calculation click on flow accumulation plus one and the equation is it uh, multiplied by cell size go to cell size this is the cell size copy the cell size name the output raster file as flow accumulation flow accumulation gate click on ok go to raster calculator click on lawn then click on flow accumulation scale flow accumulation scale divided by 10 slope 10 slope name the output raster file as click on save click ok so in this way you can calculate topographic witness index here the highest value is 22 and lowest value is 2.7 you can change the color the highest value 22 these are the area where there is a high potential of water accumulated due to low slope these are the area where slope is very low and these are the area where slope is very high so their uh, t uh, topographic witness index is very low in the here and in this area blue area topographic witness index is very high because the slope is very low and the water accumulation the possibility of uh, accumulated water is very high in this area thanks for watching